What's up guys, Majora here. Today we're doing a comprehensive guide on how to farm the Spectral Knight on Bard consistently. That's the keyword here is consistency. I don't want to be putting on gear and then dying to some dumb things, you know? So uh, I'm gonna go over three examples, some a little messy, some very clean, so you can get an idea of how to fix your mess ups and all the skills he uses. In these examples, I'm using gear in normal. I do complete them in high roller and without gear with the same methods as the so there's no change to the attack patterns just more damage more health in high roller but there is no drop rate increase on the spectral fabric in high roller so there's really no point to be doing it in high roller if you're just farming the spectral fabric if you're just using the base kit i use all your self buffs and unchained harmony to get to the boss room fast if you have gear it's the exact same except adding harmonic and some other pvp songs the perks will be charismatic performers wanderers luck for some extra luck on fabric superior decks and rape beer mastery Although if you watch the stream, you'll know I use reinforced instruments over rate pure mastery in case of PVP. All right, so getting right into it, we're going to start off with a shriek and trade some hits. You'll be able to get like five, maybe six swings in to start off the fight. First things first is he's gonna do an overhand left swing or right on his way, but I'm gonna be doing it from our POV. This one's really easy to dodge by jumping and going right slash away from the boss. You want to be moving and staying in the like a medium distance from the boss where you can trade rapier hits if you're too close to the boss when he does some of these swings you'll still get hit whether you're jumping and always opt to jump away or to the right on a lot of these swings and you're always going to be circling right this is an overhand right swing this will this is a duck or a block You'll typically only see me block this hit if I have time for it. If I'm just trading swings, I'm not really gonna have time to pull up my shield. So I'm gonna be ducking. Also, if I'm too close to the boss, it doesn't feel comfortable blocking either. So just the duck is a, is the smarter move on this right one. These slams are really easy. Just keep circling right and you'll be able to dodge those pretty easy and just keep trading hits. There's another overhead duck. The jump over the head. I try to keep my camera positioned on him so I know where he's going. And as long as you stay behind him, you'll be able to dodge all the damage. On this die, this is phasing. This is really important. You'll see his sword is pointed upwards on this phasing. And he also can point his sword downwards, which we'll go, we'll find it later in the video. But for the upwards one, we're gonna go right in front of his head about four-ish meters away. And we're gonna block at a slight down angle and keep our camera slightly pointing towards him. So right here, you'll see how on this side, I just cover his face with the right side of my camera. I've got my shield pointed slightly down and I'm about four meters right in front of his face. And this will be a, a block. This is gonna be a hard to learn consistency, but once you do get it, it's pretty good. These are, this is a good time to get a shriek in. We're gonna do the jump dodge right. Followed into another jump dodge outwards. This one, when you go slam to the ground, you just want to stay away. This is a good time to health pot or to shriek. A slam gets good, good, good damage. Anytime he dashes back, he's most likely going to follow with a lunge and you'll be able to get a couple hits in. And jumping outwards and jumping backwards. Follow his head. I got hit by that one, but it's okay. We're still doing pretty good. This is another face change. His sword is pointed upwards. So we're going to do the same thing where we go in front of his face, crouch and look down a little bit. See how I just moved my camera to cover his head. Get a health pot in after that one. You want to be very careful when you choose to shriek or get your health pot in. Most of the time, it's not worth it unless he's doing a big charge move and slams down on the ground because he can randomly swing. And if you're not ready for some of these random swings, you will die. So don't prioritize your songs or your healing unless you have a good time to do so. And those times are going to be when he slams the ground after phase change or when he dashes, etc, etc. Keeping distance from the boss. This would be another good. This is a good time to get some songs. That one is just, as long as you're continuing to circle right, you won't be hit by that swing. Follow him again. And duck, 
keep make sure when you're ducking those you are crouching looking down and strafing right away from the boss to be as small as possible sometimes you'll get clipped in the head if you're not doing that and dead let's get on to the next one okay next fight we do we started off the same way good headshots there Keep it ducked. Keep strafing right. I missed the jump there, but I should have been jumping instead of crouch. These accidents will happen sometimes, as with every boss. But this is a good time to get the health pot in. See how I'm hesitant sometimes to even play my songs or or health. All right, this is a downswing. Let's 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 get to make sure we get this down. So this is another phase change, except now you can see how his sword isn't pointing up and it's pointing downwards. This one, you're going to go right into his butt cheeks where, where his cape is pointing out. You're going to look directly away from him and have your sword, uh, buckler pointed slightly upwards instead of downwards. So right in his butt, slightly upwards away from him and we'll get the block. Make sure you don't stand up too early because you can if you stand up too early get hit in the head and that's really unfortunate. Good shriek moment. You'll notice, you'll continue to notice that I'm not getting too aggressive on my, on how many hits I do. Cause I want to stay like a, a decent distance from the boss to avoid as much damage as possible. Another downswing right into his butt. Buckler slightly up. That one I was a little close to him, but I was able to dodge it. But yeah, the, I, that was a little. I was too close to the boss for comfort on that one. And dead. Okay, last but not least, we'll get one more in. Straight right on these low swings. Stay behind him on the jump. Keep, keep going backwards and circling right trying to stay far see this is a behind this is a low swing so we know to get behind him we're gonna tank some damage from this aoe thing but it's better than dying to this attack you know slightly up i, I almost went slightly down there and i would have died i remembered good shriek moment and a good health pot moment got hit there because I was uh, at a bad angle from the boss. Another, uh, this is an upswing. Okay, so we get to see both in this fight. A little bit away from the boss, keeping my camera just covering his head slightly downwards and crouched. Good health pot moment. Okay, so this is the first time we get to see this swing since these videos because the reason being is because he doesn't do this swing often unless a there's another person in the room or b you're a little bit farther away from the boss. So on all the other attempts I showed you, I try to stay really close to the boss and he will never do this swing. If you are a little bit away from the boss, you have to keep in mind that this swing is deadly and like he might throw it at any moment. That's why you'll this is the move that kills me when you go to health pot or when you go to song um at a bad time it's because he throws it really fast and it's typically when you're in a position of, like you want to put a shriek on or you want to do a health pot so that's why you got to be very weary of like when you're doing it because this swing you have to block or crouch 
Typically, I go for the block on this swing, but you are able to crouch it in like some oh crap moments. It's just a straight, straight and look left. Oh, he did it again because I was a far away again. You can kind of tell when it's going to come after doing it a lot based on like how far away from you are from the boss. And bam. That's it. All right, boys. Good luck in the dungeon. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, I'll see you guys very soon. Appreciate you guys watching. Talk soon, boys. No spectral fabric. Feels bad, man.